Instead, we went to the Myrtle Beach barbecue joint that was most recommended to us by you, the community, on our social media. So here we are at Barbecue House. I asked people the best place for me to do the barbecue review at uh, Myrtle Beach. This is what they chose. Let's check it out. It was called Barbecue House. No branding there, just what it is. <laughs> That's like an accounting business with a sign that says taxes, as opposed to who they actually are or why you should go there. All right, so you all know how important I think the sauce is. They've got sauce variety down pat. We've got Eastern, South Carolina Mustard House, which is award-winning, Lexington, and then Spicy House. Let's see how they are. Super fast service. This is kind of, I mean, the place looks like a fast food joint. And the food was extremely fast. Now, these are their hush puppies. And this is a cinnamon butter, which I was told is very good with the, the hush puppies. But I have to say, this looks interesting. What? Hold on. Oh, hmm. <laughs> looks delicious. And then, of course, the meat comes naked, waiting for the salsa. So, let's see what we get. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to start with Lexington. Because this is the one based off what it says that I assume is the one I'm going to like. It says tomato-based sauce with vinegar and spices. But it's really thin. Usually, they get them a little thicker. So, let's see what we get. So in order to try all the sauces, I'm gonna take some of this meat off. That's a good idea. The sandwich. And you can, you, whatever that wins the thing. Yeah. The sandwich. It's good. What? could be thicker but the taste is very good so let's check out their award-winning house sauce looks just like freaking AC masterpiece that's not a compliment. sweet baby rays y'all doing all right yes <laughs> that's good too is it thick and sweet just like you it is smoky and it is a sweet sauce but it is a good sauce. So far, this place is banging. All right, Eastern. This is a blend of vinegar, red pepper, and spices. I'm gonna assume this is gonna be like Maggie Valley, where we had the overly peppery sauce. Yes. Quite spicy. It's a delayed spice. Gets but you. This vinegar tastes, you could taste the apple cider in it. This one I couldn't. That's interesting. So, again, it's not bad. It is, I mean, if you like a spicy in the kick, this is, this is the one. I'm not gonna try the mustard because I know I don't like mustard sauce. 
spicy house. We'll try this. I'm assuming it's this with the spicy. Like, actually, this is this is the spicy. The, this and this. I bet you it's paired. It's probably the same thing. Just add some peppers. It's good. These sauces are good, guys. It does have the kick, but it's 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 this. It is. So, as far as my sauce test is concerned, this is good. Good. The sauces are good. So, let's finish the meal and then gather final thoughts. All right. So, so I'm gonna split this apart. It's interesting as it looks together. It tastes like a dessert. It tastes like something you would get at a uh, at a carnival or a funnel cake. Funnel cake sort of thing. Good. So, what did you get? What did you get? All right. I got the smoked chicken salad sandwich. And it's chicken salad, right? So it's mayonnaise based. There's uh, pickles, diced stuff in it, no onions, some lettuce. I took off the tomato. Um, it, and it's a smoky chicken salad. And it's exactly that. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Nom, 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 nom. I need here to place them. <laughs> Like overall, what do you think? Well, my chicken tender is good. It's the one that I'm eating. It is thin. Uh, I would like for it to be a little thicker, uh, a little more of the tomato base, if you will. But it, it, it tastes really good. I would come here. I would come here. Now, the atmosphere. It's playing 80s music. You gotta like it. I like that. Uh, it's small. It is inside a um, what used to be a fast food place. I'm sure of it. Captain I mean, D's. It, yeah, it does have a you know a regular barbecue restaurant feel on the inside. It's just small. Um, so I guess that's a little bit of a, a negative. The whole fast food thing, but. It doesn't bother me. Um, the presentation uh, is good. Real fork, real plate, you know. Um, the food looks a little interesting, the chicken bones puppies. But they're very good too. They're like a dessert. Like a dessert. But I'm enjoying the food, it's good. It is probably this is probably the smallest barbecue restaurant I've ever seen. That's not a food truck. Okay. Really? Yeah. Because these are the ones that I see. Well, the ones I grew up with were almost cafeteria like. Belier's was huge. They had two big rooms. Strawberry was like that. Yeah. Um, this is. I mean, this is the size of a Hardee's. You know. It's the same size as Mission. Mission wasn't big either. Yeah. In Tallahassee. The decor is interesting. They have little movie posters. I like, I mean, it's not that. It's just, I don't know what the vibe is. Yeah, don't really know why we have movie posters. It's a barbecue house. I want it to be like a log cabin. Yeah. Well, we, we have the, the brick here, which is nice. They need branding and marketing. They do. They have brick here, which is nice. They have wooden tables, which is nice. But then we have, you know, Star Wars, King Kong, Midway, uh, Wizard of the Oz, The Godfather, Casablanca. Here's uh, Clint Eastwood over here. I mean, what? Oh, I think that's Gone with the Wind. No, it's Frankenstein. I mean, that's a single poster because I can't see it. So, I mean, the internal branding is not great. 
I, I, marketing is my day job. So, of course, we're looking at that. I like this uh, little painting here on the brick facade, though. So, the pricing, the pricing is actually really good. It's between seven and fifteen dollars. I think the most expensive thing is about twenty, but that's not what most people are going to get, right? That's like a full uh, rack or whatever. Um, but pricing here, this is this is better than, than Maggie Valley that we've seen so far. I think a lot of it has to do with the atmosphere. Um, it tastes better than the atmosphere makes you feel. So I recommend it. Easy on the pocketbook. Is your the tongue? Okay, so kind of like what I did when I went to Thunder in the Smokies, I asked people what was what places they would recommend for me to go to. Um, two places rose to the top: uh, Fire to Table, and then this place, Barbecue House. Um, and then very last minute, this place pulled forward as the first pick. The two of them were neck and neck for a while. Uh, so this is the one that I came to, and uh, it's good. So I, I appreciate everybody that uh, kind of gave me their tips on where to go. Uh, this will get more difficult as I have repeated places. Like, for example, Daytona. The main one in Daytona that's right there by Main Street. I've been there already. I've already done, I did a, a review of it last year. So my question for Daytona this time is going to be, okay, what is your second best place? I guess I'll, I guess the question is still, you know, what places do you recommend? And then I'll pick anyone that's not that one. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think this is this is good. You guys kind of lead me where to go. Uh, and then I give you feedback. It's great.